क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about that how we can prepare aldehyde and ketone from unsaturated hydrocarbons and now in this topic we are going to learn about that how we can prepare aldehydes and ketones by the calcium salt of fatty acid so let us understand that what is the reaction and how we can prepare aldehydes and ketones with those substances So in this topic we are going to discuss about that is whenever a calcium salt of fatty acid it undergoes that is a dry dissolution process or it undergoes a pyrolysis process so it gives us a following aldehyde or it gives us a ketone so this kind of reaction is basically known as decarboxylation reaction the reason behind that is the carbon dioxide from a particular calcium salt of fatty acid it has been removed so how is the reaction proceeds so that is what i am going to discuss about here so let me discuss about the first one that is how we can prepare aldehyde by the dry distillation of calcium salt of fatty acid so now let me discuss about that is how we can prepare aldehyde by the dry distillation of calcium salt of fatty acid so talking about the first one so to prepare aldehyde we have to consider the calcium salt of fatty acid and especially calcium formate so we are going to discuss about the reaction where a calcium formate can be reacted with the other calcium carboxylate so as to form an aldehyde so for that i am representing over here this general reaction so that is so this is i am going to talk about the calcium formate over here so the structure is been represented in this way so this is nothing but calcium formate and the name is derived from because this is been derived from the formic acid and that's the reason that is the name is calcium formate and obviously it is an calcium salt of formic acid plus this could be reacted with the other calcium carboxylate and for that obviously this h it would be replaced by the r group or it would be replaced by the alkyl group and that is how we can represent over here as r c double bond o o this is calcium over here and the same thing that we are going to represent so this is what we have represented about the calcium carboxylate or better it could be called as calcium salt of fatty acid except the formic calcium salt of formic acid so whenever it undergoes a dry distillation process that is this kind of reaction is also called as decarboxylation reaction and we are doing the pyrolysis process over here so obviously in a tremendous amount of heat obviously the carbon dioxide will be removed from this molecule as well as from this molecule also so that is what it is known as decarboxylation reaction so the reaction proceeds in such a manner where we could find that is this whole group it would be removed along with that of this group so that is the reason that we could form the byproduct as caco3 and not only once but it will be formed as that is two moles of caco3 it will be eliminated or it will be removed so that's the reason it is known as decarboxylation process so the product that we have right now with us is this is the r that we have that is r or alkyl group that is this is c double bond o and now this h it would be replaced over here so that is what it will form an aldehyde so talking about the other product also again the same thing that is r c double bond o h so that is how we can obtain two molecules of aldehyde so this is how we can prepare an aldehyde by using a calcium formate along with that of a calcium carboxylate so this is how we can prepare the aldehyde so not only with this reaction suppose if only calcium formate it undergoes the dry distillation process even that also we could form an aldehyde so let me discuss about that also so suppose if we have consider only that is calcium salt of fatty acid or we could call it as calcium formate suppose so in this case we are making the reaction in such a way that only calcium formate it undergoes the dry distillation process so obviously we will mention over here as dry distillation so the product that will be removed here is this is calcium CaCO3 so this part of the calcium formate it will be removed as CaCO3 and the product that we have right now is basically H C double bond OH 
which is nothing but an aldehyde, especially it could be called as formaldehyde or methanol. So that is how we can prepare an aldehyde. So now let us discuss about the example of this also. So for that we have. So this is an example that I am mentioning about. So for that we have to consider that is calcium formate and the calcium formate can be written as or can be represented as this manner. So this is calcium formate. So we have to treat it with that is calcium carboxylate. So for that suppose if I am considering an example that is CH3 C double bond O O and this is how I would represent that is calcium salt of acetic acid even that is what we could call it as and suppose if that undergoes that is dry distillation process obviously we understand that is the calcium carbonate it will be removed as a byproduct so let me represent that also so this whole part it would be removed along with that of that is this part so that is how we can form that is two moles of CaCO3 and the main product that is what we are concerned with the product that we will form over here as CH3 C double bond O along with that this H so therefore CH3 C double bond O along with this H so not only this is the product that we will form we get an another product also even that is the same as that is CH3 C double bond O H so that is how we can form that is two moles of that is acetaldehyde or we could call it as ethyl so this was all regarding the formation of an aldehyde by the decarboxylation of calcium salt of fatty acid and now let us talk about that how we can form ketone by decarboxylation of that is calcium salt of fatty acid so now let me discuss about that is how we can prepare ketones so for that we have to take the calcium carboxylate in equal proportions also we could take different calcium carboxylate so that is what i'm going to represent about the general reaction over here suppose if we are representing a calcium carboxylate having this R as a alkyl group and this is what I am representing here as a calcium carboxylate. Suppose it has been reacted with another calcium carboxylate having different alkyl group attached to the carbon or a carbonyl group over here. So therefore So this is what we have mentioned over here and even this is the calcium carboxylate. Suppose if this reaction it undergoes the dry distillation process. So obviously we understand that this molecule it would be removed from this one or this calcium carboxylate and this part it would be removed from this car calcium carboxylate. So the product that we will get is basically two moles of CaCO3. But the main product that we are concerned with is with that is this R dash C double bond O this would be attached with this alkyl group and the another molecule that we will get it will be the same that is R dash C double bond O R so that's the reason that we could form that is two moles of R dash C double bond O R which is nothing but a ketone so this is how we could get but the thing is the ketone that will form over here it could be that is simple ketone also or it could be mixed ketone also depending if this R and this R dash if this are the same then the product that we will form is will be a simple ketone and suppose if this R and this R dash if they are different then we could form a mixed ketone. So let me discuss about that how basically this kind of reaction occurs. So let me discuss about the example for this one. So let me talk about the example over here. Suppose if you have considered that is calcium acetate that is this one and suppose if calcium acetate it undergoes reaction with another calcium acetate so this undergoes in a dry distillation process and the product that we will get over here is so this part it would be removed and even this part it would be removed so that is two moles of CaCO3 it would be removed as a byproduct and the product that we could get over here is that is CH3 C double bond O and this is CH3 so obviously we'll get that is two moles of CH3 C double bond O CH3 that is nothing but that is acetone and it's in this case basically the CH3 or this alkyl group is the same along the side of that is the carbonyl and that is what it is known as a simple ketone.
So this is how we can prepare an S2. So now let us understand that how we can prepare a mixed ketone. So let me discuss about that also. Suppose if we have considered that is calcium salt of carboxylic acid that is calcium salt of acetic acid that is also known as calcium acetate and suppose if this reacts with a different calcium salt of carboxylic acid so this calcium carboxylate suppose if they undergo reaction and that is basically dry distillation process so obviously we understand that this is the part that would be removed from each of the calcium carboxylate and the product that we could get is C2H5, C double bond O and here it will be CH3. So that's the reason that uh, we'll get two moles of that is C2H5, C double bond O, CH3 along with that of the byproduct is that is two moles of CHU3. So the product that has been formed over here it is known as since this is methyl group and this is ethyl group so in terms of a common name it is known as ethyl methyl ketone or we could also call it as in terms of an IUPAC name since there are four carbon atoms that are present in a straight chain so that's the reason it could be called as butanone. So let me give you another information that is a formation of a mixed ketone by this method or by this dry distillation method it gives us less amount of the ketone that has been produced that is because the calcium carboxylate that we take so as to react with another calcium carboxylate so they can undergo in a decarboxylation process where they could form that is a simple ketone so that's the reason that simple ketone formation with the dry distillation process is very much easy as well as it will give a higher amount of a ketone while formation of that is mixed ketone it will give us a less yield so that is what i want to discuss about this one so that's it friend so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time so till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much